so friends today we will see a real number which also comes under the number system here this real number includes irrational number as well as rational number so we already have discussed how to find which all numbers are irrational number and which all are rational number here irrational numbers are those numbers which get non terminating non recurring or repeating on the other hand rational numbers are terminating or non terminating but recurring or you can say repeating so here are few points that you have to keep in your mind first when you add or subtract multiply or divide a rational number with irrational number your answer will be irrational number always keep in mind whenever you add subtract multiply or divide two numbers irrational number and rational number and irrational number you always your answer always will be irrational number these are the two one now second one is whenever you add subtract multiply or divide a rational number with rational number you always get a rational number so example suppose 2 plus 2 both are rational number you will get 4 this is also your rational number <clears throat> now the important point is of third one if you add subtract multiply or divide two irrational numbers you will get maybe a rational number or irrational number for example here suppose 2 is your rational number plus root 3 is your irrational number so the this answer is irrational number while adding while subtracting 2 minus root 3 this is also irrational while multiplying 2 into root 3 this is also your irrational number and while dividing 2 by root 3 this is also your irrational number because this a uh, root is everywhere so this is the main point that you have to remember now moving to forward now suppose we got a question simplify root 3 plus root 7 over the square and you have to also identify whether it is rational number or irrational number so this is in the form of a plus b whole bracket square you can write a square plus b square plus 2ab so here this is your a this is your b so i am writing a square plus b square plus 2 a b which is 3 plus 7 plus 2 now here 7 three ja this is multiply 21 so you can write 10 plus 2 21 so this is your answer so this is your irrational number now here we will see a few laws of exponents of real number real number including irrational and irrational number so here if this is the base and this is exponent of a number suppose you have given a number to multiply with other number and both the number have the same base but exponents are different so you can write a because the base is same so you are taking base as a common plus these are multiplying so you have to add this is the first rule second if your base is have exponent two exponent one is inside your bracket bracket and other outside the bracket so here you have to multiply and then now moving to third if your one number having exponent divides the other number having exponent 
but the base is common you can write base m minus n if you are taking this n on numerator then you have to subtract here m is greater than n moving to fourth if your both the bases are different but exponents are same then you can write a b exponent m so here one note is there if suppose your number is given in this form then you can write you can write this number which is in denominator to numerator by adding minus in front of exponent that we have seen here when this numerator came to this denominator came came on to numerator now if your number is on numerator you can write it denominator like this also by adding minus i hope this is clear now we will take example suppose you have given a question like this here is 2 by 3 into 2 1 by 3 and you are asked to solve it then you what you have to do your base is common so you sub uh, first you have to say which law is applicable to this so your base is common so here because in between there is a multiply so here this one so you can write base base exponent plus you have to add exponent so 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 here exponents uh, denominator is same so directly you can write 3 upon 3 which is 2 because this will get cancel you will get only one so this will be the answer and if suppose second question is like this uh, 1 by 5 divided by 7 1 by 3 here first of all you have to what to do you have to bring this whole number to numerator so you can write 7 because 7 base is common 7 after 7 now this you have to bring this is m this is n so here you have written m minus this one m minus n 1 upon 3 now here but here the denominator is different so you have to take lcm and also directly lcm is coming uh, 3 minus 5 divided by 15 now here you will get minus 2 by 15 clear now what if you got uh, gets a question like this 3 1 by 4 or 5 and here you will get 5 now here what you have to do this is this one so here base is 3 directly multiply 1 upon 4 multiply 3 you can write 3 5 by 4 i hope friend this is clear now you have to remember few more formulas or you can say which will help you in solving your problem to simplify the question suppose you have given like this plus root b and root a minus root b like this so directly you can write a minus b you know how if you multiply these two this whole number with this number you will get this okay i will show you a root a into root a you will get a a in root a into root b minus root a root b i have taken this minus outside now here plus root b into root a here you will get root a root b now root b into minus root b minus b so this whole number get cancel a minus b is left so this is here same here second one is if suppose a plus root b and a minus root b in this case you directly you can write directly a square minus b same way if you multiply in and 
multiply these two numbers you will get this and uh, what if you will get a number uh, suppose this this you know this is the formula rho b whole square square you can write directly a plus b plus 2 ab a b this you can write suppose this is a number given by under root a by b you also you can also write this root a by root b or if it is like this root ab you can write root a into root b i hope friend this is clear so from our next class we will see class 9th mathematics chapter 2 which is polynomials so thank you friends for watching this video